yes this is officially um in Corbin oil tariff in the Niger delta region i should go met with the kumpolo on official assignments to look at the circumstances what is really happening in the Niger delta creeks as uh, just a brief um, uh, starting point uh, for the uh, 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 the work to start officially you can see different officials um, the, um, the army the navy the DSS the civil uh, um, um, the civil service and all of them that you know um, at this point the civil defense I mean to say uh, you can see that uh, this is where we are departing from right away in Benikurukuru community. We've left just the Poroza where I should give official uh, uh, advice to the team on tour. Right away as pilots and all other officials are stand by to look at how this trip can peacefully address the issues of our crude oil theft in the Niger Delta region in conjunction with the military. I shift government of Wizi de Pumpolo and at this moment it's just a brief stepping out. We will leave from here to where the activities are ongoing. Yes, uh, the advice given to them is peaceful approach, talk to the people, engage them and uh, know the challenges of what the people are passing through, talk to them and a lot of persons has uh, admitted that uh, uh, actually the environment has been bastardized, the mangroves, forests are dying. These are so many issues one can talk about in the level of degradations and oil pollutions in the Niger Delta region. Uh, artisan refining, uh, bull fire, whatever you call it. Uh, you can see that we just departing from this moment for a very peaceful um, dialogue. Tantita, are you. Yes. You know, I shift government of Wizard of Pumpolo is a very peace loving man. His approach is dialogue, his approach is peaceful. And the military is to, in conjunction with the Nigerian army, uh, the navy, the civil defense, uh, the DSS, the police, all in inclusive. As to give a very brief update of uh, the departing points of the surveillance and uh, addressing the issue of crude oil theft in the Niger Delta. Crude oil theft has been a threat to our environment. Crude oil theft has been a threat to our uh, communities as a result of uh, pollutions and whatever you could talk about. And at this moment, a peaceful approach looking at the mechanisms how these issues could be addressed peacefully. Um, Baramatu Voice is a, on standby looking at the strategic methodologies. That the method taken by Aishi is very peaceful engagement, stakeholders from Bayasa states, stakeholders from uh, uh, Ondo states, stakeholders from Edo states, from uh, uh, River states, uh, Akwai, but whatever you could talk about has been peacefully engaged on the approach to dialogue with our people. Let us not, because of our today's survival, destroy our environment. Let us, there must be a way out, and this way out is to engage people. Their work has created opportunities for community, both uh, women have been engaged, um, youth has been engaged, royal fathers has been engaged, um, um, 
different person has been in. Can, what can you say briefly on this uh, tour, officially? Briefly. 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 You know, today is the dialogue process has been done, engaging stakeholders in a very peaceful way. To this morning, I should address the uh, people who are going for work to be very peaceful. Peaceful approach. What can you say about it? Yeah, uh, the consultative aspect uh, aspect has passed. Uh, we have spoken with everyone, and we are agreed to work together today. Let me say officially, it has been flagged up. So we are moving to the operation area now. So in the subsequent days, we we'll brief them back. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, you know, uh, I spoke to the people in a very peaceful dialogue. And uh, what can you say? <laughs> now today we are going officially peacefully to speak with uh, people on how uh, the issue of oil theft could be addressed. What can you say about it today? We are going out. Today we are finally flag up to stop all illegal bunkering in every place today. So anybody that you know that you are doing illegal bunkering, may you quit from the creek before we get to you. If not, no any uh, mercy. So we are going to operation. Thank you. It's a very peaceful approach. Uh, the stakeholders talking to people, departing from this moment, and uh, it's very peaceful because it is a federal assignment. Federal uh, officials are on standby and to monitor peaceful approach, dialogue with the people, bush out of communities, uh, engaged women, and whatever you could talk about. That is why this today's. Um, movement is very very strategic you know um, there are so many ways to engage the youth and this is uh, one way to engage people to be employed uh, to have something at hand doing instead of running elta shelter in the creeks in the fear of the military coming to bombard creeks because they are doing because whatever thing they are you are doing that is illegal definitely there must be a way a day that will come to an end that is to say that uh, when the various attempts failed there must be alternative in addressing it you have been engaged into the sectors and now you should be at this and walk in a very peaceful way. I ship government of the Kongolo is a committed man who is devoted in whatever thing that he does. His approach is different. His approach is humanitarian. His approach is very skillful, very thoughtful mechanisms. Engaged with stakeholders from women. Uh, women has been given opportunity of 40%. Um, uh, youth, men, categories, uh, 60%. People have been engaged. And uh, what the beauty of it is that uh, whenever you are given assignment, Commitment, total commitment in doing the right thing is what people look at for prosperity. And that, I think, is a, a way of addressing issues. Is within is the, the habit of uh, the Niger Delta struggle is one voice that is committed to peace building. Is one voice that is committed to uniting the Niger Delta. Is one voice that is committed to doing the right thing at the right time. And this commitment is towards building a new Niger Delta where the, our greener environment of now the, of then days we still maintain that and they, they will survive with whatever that comes out from it. And it has been very peaceful from the first day the sovereign contract was awarded to our ship government of the Bumpolo, the first of its kind in the history of contractor to call stakeholders that I am coming to do a work at your doorstep. And what do we do? 
royal fathers from different kingdoms come together in a round table discuss the strategies of our approach and mechanisms what can we do collectively there was a dialogue template to engage people and people because of that has come yes i been involved in oil, tear, boat fire. I do not have any other jobs doing, but now I have decided to stop it. I watch no engagement. People have been engaged. And when you are involved in something that has been a threat, you have been been on the wrong. There will be a day that you decided to voluntarily stop whatever thing that is called illegal. Oil, tear, has been a threat to the Niger Delta environment. Oil theft has been a threat to the Nigerian economy. Oil theft has been a very serious um, issue that affects um, the, the Niger Delta region. You might, for instance, because of what... Shuttle TV, news, sports, and entertainment.